Welcome to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. This game is a classic. I originally played it when I was a lot younger and I remember really enjoying it. So I'm excited to jump back into it and play it again. It was apparently developed by three different developers, however I believe the main developers were Arcane Studios, which you might know as the people behind Arx Fatalis and Dishonored. If you'd like to play for yourself, it's available from a bunch of different places and I'll have links to all of that in the description. Before I begin, I want to mention something new that I'm trying out with this series. So I've been pretty disappointed with the quality of YouTube videos. I feel like they really overcompress their videos, especially for 3D games with a lot of fast movement and fine detail. So what I'm going to be trying out with this series as a sort of pilot test program is for every video in the Dark Messiah of Mind Magic series, there should be a link in the description of every video that will allow you to download a super high quality copy of this video. So it'll be the exact same video that you see before you, except much higher quality. So for anybody with super fast internet connections that would prefer that, that should be available to you. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, I'm looking for your feedback, so let me know, is this something you're interested in? Does the download link, uh, does it work? You know, is the download fast? Just let me know how it works, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will work out. So, let's begin. Let's go with normal difficulty. Master Fenrig, where are you? I'm here, Sarath. Now listen. In the room ahead, there's an altar with a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri Crystal. My voice will guide you. And have no fear. I'll be watching over you. So this whole beginning section is pretty much just a tutorial. And before recording, I did play this game for a little bit just to re-familiarize myself with the mechanics. It's still been many, many years since I've done a full playthrough, but I'm at least pretty familiar with the beginning of the game once again. And I've noticed something really funny. It's funny the things you remember from playing a game many, many years ago, and the things you don't remember. See, I remember this game having amazing combat. And having replayed it a little bit now, I realize that's completely true. It does have really good combat. That's definitely its greatest strength. But what I don't remember, and what I've now realized, is that the beginning of this game is very, very bad. And I just want to say that, so that if anybody has never played this game before, or never seen it played before, just just be aware that the beginning really sucks. It's just filled with tutorials and cutscenes and terrible fantasy tropes and story nonsense about crystals and probably saving the world or something like that. It's a really bad beginning, so just know, this game is pretty damn cool, but the beginning sucks, so... Just keep it in mind. I'm just going to try to zoom through it as fast as possible. It's really the combat where this game shines. So far, so good. Use the spider key we found, sir. Pull the lever, sir. Then hurry through the far gate. See the planks around that pillar? They look weak. See if you can break them. So you can break that by just kicking it, which is the way I think you're intended to do it. However, I tried many, many times to see if I could break it by throwing a skull at it. Hello, Scully. Unfortunately, I don't think you can. Ugh. I don't even know where it went. Ugh. It looks like you'll have to go up here. Jump on that chain and climb. Yeah, this is a Source Engine game, by the way, so there's lots of physics fun, which is one of the things that makes the combat system so fun, is it's really fun to just, like, kick people downstairs and watch them ragdoll. It's really amusing. Physical obstacles will be the easiest to face in this life, Sam. Now is your chance to conquer them. Use the spell I taught you, sir, and the dark will hold no secrets for you. Also, the voice acting in this game can definitely be pretty spotty. See if you can open the chest. You never know what you might find. The rope, Sabbath. Cut the rope. Think. Adapt. Get down there. Kick that creature uh. back and watch it. <laughs> it's so much fun. Careful. 
The undead are tenacious. Tell them to make sure they don't rise again. I'll do my best to heal you, Zareth. Now is the time to use your combat techniques as I taught you. Damn it, come on. Give me a moment to open this door. Black guards, here. Hired swords they are, but I can feel the scheming hand of the necromancers behind them. So they too are after the Shantiri crystal. Hmm. Seems somebody wants to be kicked. Actually, I can do better than that. Kick him over the edge. Be efficient, Sabbath. No, let's do this. Huh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much fun. Is he dead? Oh, he is dead. You see the spot? You can kick your enemies against him. He's quite effective. Oh my god. Oh, the combat's so fun. Without a doubt, the strongest part of this game. Parry his strikes. It's better to block than to bleed, yes? Can I actually parry an arrow with my sword? No, I didn't think so. Break the point. Use the environment to your advantage. Get down the stairs. Impale him, Samet. That will finish it. Are you still not dead? There we go. It can be surprisingly hard to aim sometimes. Don't try to run. Use the spikes to your advantage. Kick him. If he's not moving, drive your sword through. Use more time to hone your skills if you wish. No thanks, I'm good. I'll keep the portcullis open. Those uh, specially marked crates have goodies inside of them, by the way. Anything else around here? Nope. Let's go. Should probably spend my skill point. What now, Master Fenrig? We're done for now. Let us hope that you will be as efficient in future tasks. This is only the first step on a long road. Yeah, so there's a bit of a skill tree. Magic skills, miscellaneous skills, and combat skills. Uh, stamina is really, really important, and I like being able to move around, so I definitely Open want to the spend door, it. Sarah. I command you. Oh my god, I hate this tutorial stuff. He's never gonna shut up, is he? Fine. I'll spend my skill points later. Now, take that crystal. You'll have a use for it a half a world away. For today was just the beginning, my boy. Let us return home, and I'll show you the next step in your education. Now there's about ten minutes of cutscenes, and then I finally get to play the game again. The beginning is really bad, it really does get better. Sarith, my faithful disciple, your father would be proud to see you this day. Initiated into the arts of magic, a fierce and noble warrior, you have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, in a distant land. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. At least not without this. 
the Shantary crystal that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? Take it to Menelag and help him get the skull. Once you do, I think you'll know what's expected of you next. However, my dear boy, I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide, a companion, perhaps even a guardian. She may even teach you a few other things. What is your bidding, my master? One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Am I to protect this boy? Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Shh. By the way, my name is Zana. So, taking a crystal to a wizard to get the Skull of Shadows? Video games. There it is, Sarah. The free city of Stonehelm. Crossroads of money and magic. Deliver the crystal to Manalag and we can be on our way. I hope so. It's been pretty dull. We should go back to the city, where it's safe. The farther we get, the better! It's our home! It'll be our too if you don't drive faster! There's an army of necromancers coming! Necromancers? Fenric didn't say anything about them. Master Fenric rarely tells everything he knows. Hurry, we'll be safe inside. I'm the envoy from Master Fenrir, with a message for the wizard Menelag. That's Lord Menelag. Got any proof? That's We're a little it. wary of strangers these days. I have a letter of introduction. Let me see it then. Hmm. By special request of Lord Menelag. And there's a seal. Let me welcome you to Stonehelm. We'll stable your horse for you if it pleases. Of course. Can you tell me where to find Menelag? Certainly, sir. You go uphill past the Golden Ribbon and... Sweet Dragon's Blood, what's that? That voice acting... It's so good. I get to play. Escape! Convenient chain! Oh, he's dead. But you're coming with me! No man left behind. God, you're so heavy! Oh, forget it! Get out of my way! I wish you'd stop calling me that. So many balls are threatening to slap me in the face. But spend my skill points too. Melee combat, sure. More sprinting, sure. I would stop to explain the stats and all that stuff, but uh, kind of running for my life here. And the game does not pause. Hmm. Big bread. Hmm. I know. No thanks. I don't feel like it. 
Alright, I, I know everybody's dying, but I'm just gonna read this. Shoot the Cyclops to stun it. Eh, I don't feel like it. I think I should read this note about this person who's in love with Liana. Oh, look at this. I was thinking about Liana again. Like always, I guess. But she's so pretty, and so nice. And her uncle says that she'll be a great wizard, like he is. I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Not today, though. But maybe this war will give me a chance to be a hero and prove myself to her. Oh, it's so sweet. Such a deep storytelling, too. Anyway, am I supposed to shoot, like, a goblin thing? Come on, Sarah. Keep up your fire. Now or never, Sarah. You have to kill it. You did it. I'd hug you if I could. That was more satisfying than Dark Souls. Here's some water! Oh shit, I just failed the mission because I threw that pot at his face. I forgot you fail it if you if you do any damage to the guards, you fail it. Shit, where's my last save? Oh god. Oh, thank god, it actually saved while I was doing it. That's y'all clear. They're retreating. For now. Nice work there, friend. You've got <clears throat> some real potential. Thank you. Food ration. Yum. Let's read this bestiary. Our recent study of ash and fauna gave us an interesting account of the creature's weaknesses. For instance, while most of the basic creatures like spiders are very vulnerable to fire and will avoid it, creatures with a demonic taint like the orcs or the goblins are naturally more resistant to fire. They are, however, as vulnerable to lightning as anyone else. Undead are a different matter, having no concept of fear or injury. They are difficult to defeat. However, a fortunate adventurer may find blessed weapons crafted from the very substance of dragons that do great damage to these creatures. Neato. This is a loading screen, by the way. I just realized, um, the loading screen is not actually showing up in the recording software, but, yep, yeah, it was loading. Alright, treating the wounded, so it's time to collect some supplies and get going. Find the wizard. This game is really dark sometimes. I can barely freaking see anything. Dagger. Do I have a normal sized sword? I've got a bow, wooden staff, and daggers. I don't have a normal sized sword. Did I miss it? Oh, there we go. I can barely freaking see anything inside. It's ridiculous. Alright, let me sort out my situation here. I'm probably just going to use the short sword. Need melee combat 2 to use the shield. I should probably get that. Don't think I'm going to use the bow or the wooden staff. I'll leave it up there anyway. Uh, yeah, so let's get melee combat level 2 so I can use the, the shield. There we go. I'm not actually going to need to hurt anybody, though, so I might as well put this away. They do that. We're trapped. We'll need them to I doubt it. Sure. Ghouls don't swim well. What do we do with the bodies? The if the necromancers get their hands on them... We might have to open up the necropolis. Mind your step there. They tried launching skeletons over the wall. What happened to it? Splintered on impact. <laughs> the skeletons they launched over the wall splintered on impact. You don't say. So this is kind of like a semi, like, slightly open world little section where you kind of explore around and collect some stuff. 
there's not really that much of a reason to, to do that, to be honest. But it is kind of fun to just shove whole pies into my pants. Nice and warm. But let me just skip to where I'm supposed to go, just to move things along. You know what they say about the size of a man's front gate? That big one must be Manalag's. Excuse me. Oh, you must be the envoy. Here's our guest. Bye, Gus. Uh, uh, okay. I'm here to see the wizard Lord Menelag, on behalf of Master Fenric. You must be Sarath. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill a Cyclops. No, oh, sorry. I'm Liana, Menelag's niece and pupil. Niece? Pupil? Hmm. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please, follow me. With pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. Guard! Please open the portcullis! Yes, lady. We've had a feast prepared in your honor, you know. Welcome to the house of Menelau. So, you're Sarath. Good to see you, lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it with that. I was getting worried. I trust you brought the Shantiri crystal. Of course you have. Good. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we sail with it. And careful with that soup there. To the Temple Isle, resting place of the Skull of Shadows. Let Arantir throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. Your oh, stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're in charge of it, after all. Of course, Uncle. Good night. And to you too, Sarath. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't, and we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know. And that's probably for the best. The servants will show you to the guest house. Get some sleep, hero. We sail with the morning tide. Fun fact, the voice actor for Liana is actually the same person who voiced Carla in Indigo Prophecy. Sir! Sir, wake up! The manor is under attack! There are necromancers everywhere! I'm gonna see if the master is alright. Hide yourself! Alright, so now the real game actually finally starts. There's no way out! We're trapped! You won't make it! What the? Okay, he uh, just walked past me. Ow. Get down the stairs! Down the stairs! All right, we're good. You're safe, don't worry. Yeah, so as you can see, the beginning of the game is really bad. It's full of cutscenes, the voice acting is pretty damn bad, and this, oh my god, the story. What is, the story is just like an amalgamation of the most generic fantasy nonsense. Freaking Shandiri crystal and a skull of shadows and prophecies and wizards, I mean, ugh. But yeah, this is where the real game starts and you're finally given kind of free reign to actually play. So let's have some fun. Oh wait, I didn't pick up the book. What does this say? Is that another bestiary? It is. Two bestiaries. Eh, I don't want it. Here, can I put this on your head? Nah, you don't have collision. Gotta dispose of the dead properly. I believe you wanted a cremation. Another staff I don't want. I've already got one. All right, fight me. Dude, you 
just shot an arrow at me. That's gonna be a problem. We've got trouble. No. Get into the fire. Perfect. Yeah, the fighting system is, it's kind of clunky to be honest, it's a, it feels a little bit clunky, but it's pretty freaking cool. Especially all the fun physics interactions, like kicking people into fires. Gonna have to get through him! Can you get through the body? Can you actually get through the body? Let's see. Uh, I've never tried this before. Can they actually not, can they actually not hit me through the body? Is that a thing? I've never tried this before. I'm invulnerable. <laughs> Show some skill before I kill you. Uh, oh, there we go. Does it actually depend on the positioning uh, of the body? Let me turn around. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's because he's actually literally hitting the body. Uh, you realize you're beating up die. your friend, right? I need backup. Now, I believe I've unlocked power attacks, right? Or a charge? Yeah, level 1 charge, powerful attack to stun your enemies, sprint plus power attack. Alright, yeah, that's a pretty powerful... well... Power attack is pretty powerful! Sprint and do this. This game is really ridiculously dark, I need to turn up the gamma or something. Alright, I'm actually going to make a permasave here for a reason that you will see later. Probably not in this episode. But it's going to be something cool. You'll see. Also, here's sparklies. What the hell does that mean? I forgot what that means. I think that means there's something hidden around here. I don't know if that'd be these? Or it means something more significant. Where's that sound again? What the hell is it coming from? I know this game does have secrets. What the hell do I do with that? Cool. I can't even get on it. Alright, whatever. A freaking sound again. It's gonna drive me nuts. Yes, there is a concept of... Yeah, there, there is some stealth going on. Don't try to run. But I don't really care about You're stealth. Yeah, I do not give a damn about stealth. Let's take a health potion. You actually do have to watch the, watch the amount of damage that you take, because you really don't have many hit points. And healing potions really don't heal that many hit points, so you do have to be kind of careful. It's not the sort of game where you can take hits all the time and it's no big deal. You really do want to almost never get hit. And that freaking sparkly sound again. Where is that coming from? You won't make Damn it. it. Ha! Freaking missed. Left. Ah! Ah! 
And there's some sort of a charge up meter where you, you do like a fatality or whatever after you charge it up. I don't really know what's up with that. I never paid attention to it. Fishies! I bet there's stuff hidden in here. Potion? Anything? No, apparently not. Yeah, I've been taking way too much damage. Need to be more careful. Keep looking. We need to get inside and secure the crystal. Didn't mean to kick the potion. Thankfully, it's a very strong bottle. Inside at last. Good job. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, skill point. Oh, crap, I've got four skill points. When did that happen? See, four skill points to get up to level three. Break, parry, whirlwind. Do I want that? Uh, maybe. Hold on, what can I do? Max health increased to 60. That would be nice. Oh, that cost four? Oh, that's all my skill points. Aww. I should have gone with alertness. Automatically detects secret objects when you're standing still. I think that might be related to that noise that I'm hearing. The noise might tell me that there's secrets. And alertness is what I need to actually be able to see them or something. I don't really know. Anyway, let's get the daggers out of here so that, I mean, there's, there's you know, multiple weapon types. There's, like, staffs and bows and daggers, but I think I'm just going to go sword, sword and board. Yep. Always night vision if I want it. But I don't. want to try me. Get down the stairs. Get down the stairs. That is seriously like one of the most powerful moves in this entire game, is just kicking them downstairs. It's so effective. Okay, now I believe, yeah, I, I would have been able to see this if I had the alertness skill. I don't, but I did have the alertness skill last time I played this and I was here, so I know that this is the secret thing I need to press. Sarah, very good. We should keep an eye out for more of these. Secrets. I think there's some spiders in here or something. Something weird. Oh, damn it. I keep accidentally kicking it instead of picking it up. Anyway, be gone, fell spiders. If I remember, these spiders are hard to kill only- oh. Okay, they just exploded for some reason. Uh, they're kind of hard to kill only because they're so freaking small that they're hard to hit. Damn it! Stop kicking him! It's weird because F is kick. And E is use, and you know, sometimes F is use. So it, I keep confusing him. I think this thing is trapped, or maybe it was trapped, and now it's not. Yeah, I think maybe that's what's, what exploded. Full health potion. Very valuable. I've also got a stone skin potion. Which turns me hard as a rock. <gasps> I just realized there's actually physics for the webs. Look at that. God, I love you, Source Engine. You're so cool. Alright, I 
can't remember where the hell to go. Ooh, this way. Pretty good looting here. Surprise! Get in the fire. Yeah, how much energy, uh, how much health does food give you? I don't remember. Two health. <laughs> I got like 200 pounds of bread and pies and stuff in my pants. Ah, games. A bunch of mu- <laughs> There are only three mushrooms inside of this box. That's some inefficient packaging. Jesus. It's really bad for the environment. Stop right there, or it, that'll teach you. That's it. Keep out. Ah, I just disarmed him. That ghoul is going to be important quite soon. Oh, I do love me some stairs. Hey, pal. I ain't your pal, dude. Can actually have some fun here. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? What was that? You won't make it. I didn't quite hit the mark. Anyway, get down the stairs. Stop right there, or it gets ugly. Fatality. You are really annoying. Alright, I gotta get out of here. You need to die. Yeah, you can see, even though I'm doing pretty good, I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage. You really do have to worry about your health. Get down the stairs. Let's go shove 200 calories of... Actually, no. Let's shove 200,000 calories of food into my mouth. Mmm, delicious. I feel like they made this game ridicu ridiculously dark on purpose just so that you have to use your night vision. Book of Ghouls. 
Book of Sorceress Mastery. Don't really care. Wizard robe. I can look pretty. I need magic affinity one though, and I don't think I'm gonna go down the magic line. That's uh how do you get magic affinity? Some of these, is it? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that increases your mana. So it's just like yeah, just like increasing your health, except it increases your mana. I'm probably not gonna do magic. I like melee. Melee's cool. Anyway, what are these? Fascinating. Ghouls are the ravenous spirits of the dead. Fascinating. Now, there is actually a secret related to the candelabra I just picked up. It's not called strange for no reason. This ornament has a socket on its base. You don't say. Can be used for a thing. Later. Can I poke you? <laughs> awesome. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing something. Did I try this door? I did try that. I tried that. Okay. Nope, we're good. Don't move, buddy. You really do have to be particular about where you aim. It's not very generous. It's almost like a hit scan sword. It's really weird. Is way for me to kill you. Gonna have to try harder than that. Come on. All right, you did. Hey, get him over. Ew, flies are already buzzing around him. Gross. Decomposed fast. He must have been close to rotting already. Like a bruised apple. Get the stamina back, come on! I don't have a stamina to push him over. Show some skill. Yeah, that's why stamina is really important. It's really important. If you run out of stamina, it's really hard to move around and really hard to dodge. Go up there in a minute. Going up there is actually related to the candelabra, believe it or not. There's a note up there, I believe. A love letter. My dearest Ella. Oh no, I think this is actually the note. Yeah, I think this is the note related to the candelabra. Yeah, anyway, blah blah blah, it's a bunch of nonsense, but basically, he saw somebody... I just have to place the candelabra on the right pillar instead of the left one. I'll start taking a couple of coins every night. So basically he's stealing from his master or whatever to run away with his love, I guess. Yeah, so you just have to place a candelabra on the other spot, which... It looks like Menelag needed better hired help. Which means I just need to use this right where I got it from, actually. I knew I had to use it somewhere, but I didn't remember where. I guess I gotta go back down. But, uh, hold on, before that, what's up here? Oh, you know, I don't actually want to be here yet. That's where I need to go in the end. So, before that... 
let's go do the candelabra. Secret, 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 secrets. Now, is this one trapped too? No, it's fine. Full health potion? Ring of Arcane Brilliance. And a scroll of fireball. First magic ring. Must be equipped to your inventory to grant a special effect. Only one ring can be equipped at one time. Because apparently I only have one finger. And that one finger is very, very short. Ten mana. Exactly the thing I don't care about. Now let's go up. But before I go up the rope, let's go up this way. I think there's just like... Yeah, just a key. Uh, what the hell is a key used for? I don't even remember. It's related to the discarded letter, obviously. Please sweep and clean the tower. There are cobwebs and dust everywhere. I've left you the key and expect it to be done by tomorrow. The key to the tower. Am I not already in the tower? I don't remember. Anyway. Whoops. I just drank something. I think I just accidentally drank my full health potion. Whoops. Wait, hold, hold on. Alright. Let me... Let me fix this. Robe should not be in the hotbar. Full health potion should not be... Well, actually, I probably should be. Yeah, that actually should be in the hotbar. I guess I'll leave all that stuff. I just want, like, a buffer between that and dark vision. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, uh, one skill point. Let's spend it on alertness. Automatically detect secret objects when you are standing still. Should help me find secrets. Did I hear something? Ooh, in fact, there is a secret right there. Did I hear something? Come fight me. Where did he go? He's going all the way downstairs. All right, bye. I think he went that way. Oh, now he's coming back. Stop right there, or it gets ugly. Damn it! Die! Whoa! Holy crap! That was weird. Get down the stairs, you son of a bitch! to fall through. Come Die. on, come up a little bit. There you go. Ah. Whee! Loser. I don't even think he's dead, but I don't care. I'm moving on. That's a chilly breeze. Then maybe we should cross the roof instead of just standing here. <laughs> Oh, this game. Oh, I think the key is for this. Yeah. I think there's just some bonus stuff up here. This is a nice, quiet place. Oh, too bad we have other things to do. Yes, yes, you want to have sex with me because video games. I get it. I don't think you want to go outside the windows, actually. I believe where you're supposed to go... ...is... ...here. Just so you know, dear, Menelag is expendable. The 
crystal isn't. What do you mean? The crystal was for Menelag. Menelag is convenient, that's all. What matters is getting the crystal to that temple, and you with it. Sure, but it's pretty hard to get a written confession after that. They do not have ripped their... Oh, you seem to have lost your foot. You seem to have walked into a hole. Don't move, buddy. You seem to have lost the ability to know how to move. I'll let them come to me. Get out of here. <laughs> They're so stupid. They're so fucking stupid. Oh, I love this game. Wait, is this where it just came from? It is. I just went in a circle. What? Mm. Oh, here we go. I suppose I should probably stay still for a second every time I enter a room, just in case there's secrets. Did I hear something? Hey, pal! I ain't your pal, guy. Oh crap, why did I just fall? Meh. A character that I didn't care about died. I still don't care. Generic dad character, man. So sorry. I dragged you. The motions of the scene are amplified by the skill points popping up on my screen. But the crystal. Oh no, Sarath, you must follow that ghoul. We can meet later at the boat. Chase time. All right, so now I need to follow the ghoul. What follows will be an exciting rooftop chase, but I think I should end this episode here before it becomes too long. So, let's just call it there. Yeah, this game is... It's really, really fun. The beginning is crap. The first 20 to 30 minutes are complete crap. Tons of cutscenes and all that stuff, and really annoying. Generic, completely generic storyline and all that stuff. But once it lets the reins loose and just lets you play around with the physics and kick people downstairs and through stuff, it just gets so fun. Even though the combat is... It's a little bit clunky. It's not super clunky, but it's a little bit clunky. But despite that, it's still, it's still just so much fun because of the physics. It's just really fun. It's built on the Source Engine, and you can really see that. It's got all those fun physics interactions that kind of characterize a Source Engine game. And it's pretty freaking great. Obviously, it's got a lot of flaws. The beginning's bad. The story's complete nonsense. Lots of problems. Many, many more. more way more than I could possibly list right now. But... It's also just really fun. It's really, really enjoyable. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.